ChatGPT Vision is one of the biggest updates for ChatGPT, and it's truly amazing. However, to use ChatGPT V, you must have an OpenAI Plus subscription, but I'm here to introduce you to an open source alternative called Lava. Lava is a multi-module model that combines a vision encoder and vacuna for general purpose visual and language understanding. In this video, I'll show you how to install Lava on Google Colab and how to use it. Let's head over to their GitHub page where you can find large language and vision assistance, abbreviated as Lava. Lava connects visual encoders with large language models. You can also see a visual representation of how it works. While Lava might not be as powerful as ChatGPT Vision, it still produces incredible results. You can see the Lava score compared to GPT-4, and it's very impressive, especially in science questions and answers. Lava achieved a 90% accuracy rate. They also provided an example where a user uploaded an image of the Mona Lisa and asked, do you know who drew this painting? Here, we can see Lava's response. It not only recognizes the image, but also provides the correct answer. Obviously, the Mona Lisa was created by Leonardo da Vinci. At this point, we know how good Lava is at recognizing visual content. Now, let's see how you can install it on your Colab Notebook. In this Colab demo, we will be using Kamanduru's Lava Colab Notebook. I will provide the notebook link in the video description. Just click on that link and you will be redirected to the notebook. The first thing you need to do is select your GPU. In my case, the GPU is already selected as the Tesla T4. I just have to click on the Connect button. However, if you don't see any GPUs, click on the Expand button, then select Change Runtime Type and choose your preferred GPU. For free users, the Tesla T4 is the only option. But if you have a Colab Plus subscription, you can use more powerful GPUs. After selecting your GPU, don't forget to save your changes. Now, we are all set. We will download the GitHub repository by running our first cell. It will download all the necessary files and install them. Then, Click on the second cell to import all the necessary libraries. Do the same with the third and fourth cells. After some time, you will see a Gradio link. Click on that link and you will see our Gradio application up and running. Here, you can upload an image. Let's see how well it works. I've uploaded an example image for simplicity and asked the same question as shown in their example. Let's click on Send, and it worked perfectly. Now, let's use our own image for this demo. I've uploaded an image of a llama wearing a suit and tie while holding a MacBook. I'll ask Lava to describe this image and name the laptop. Wow, look at this. It successfully described the image and predicted the name of the laptop, which is a MacBook. I'm so impressed. I definitely suggest you try this right now. You don't have to spend your money on an OpenAI Plus subscription and wait for ChatGPT Vision access. Give this a try. So here you have it, folks. Lava the true multimodal model that not only responds to your text, but also your visual input. What's even more amazing is that it's open source. At this pace of AI evolution, I wouldn't be surprised if we have true AGI by 2027 or 2030. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share this video and like it. I want to thank you all for 500 subscribers. It's an awesome feeling. Stay tuned for the next video. See you in the next one.